Hello, in this demonstration, I'm going to continue um, with what I was doing last week. Last week, I was wrapping things with string. And this week, I thought, I'm going to do some string painting, which some of you have done before, but I'm going to paint with string uh, to create a compositional structure. I'm going to do some more painting, and then I'm going to try and integrate some more collage material. I will not finish the piece. This is more more ideas of how to approach composition. I'm using three canvases. You could just do one, or you could have several piece, small pieces of cardboard, do your string painting and do some small studies. I'm going abstract. If you want to incorporate a face or some recognizable um, subject matter, that is fine. But my focus is kind of on layering and composition. I, in order to paint with string, um, you need some liquid paint. It could be a liquid craft paint. I'm going to use this high flow indigo. Typically, I'm using um, black, but I decided I'm going to go with a color. And what I found works best is to use a piece of cotton cord. I'm going to soak this in water. It's going to pick up the, the paint better if I do that. So I'm soaking it in water and then wringing that string out so it's damp. So there's my damp string. I'm gonna add some water to my um, liquid high, high flow paint, making it a little more fluid. And then what I usually do is I take my damp string, I hold my brush on it and I just pull it through the paint, which creates good um, absorption. Oh, it already painted. It already left a mark. Okay, so I've got all three. I could do them separately. I could consciously uh, look at the composition handout I gave you and pick which composition I want to do, or I could just go for it. I'm just going to go for it. I can, if I hold it taut, I'm going to get straight lines. If I'm a little bit slack, I can get curved. I'm going to go with curved. Okay, that is not working. I need to do that again. All right. So that's what's great. I can I can paint with curved lines, straight lines, depending on how I hold the string. Sometimes this takes a couple of goes to get enough paint on there. Okay, here we go again. And I'm going across all three canvases. Okay, now that's working. You know, if you're not ready to commit to a canvas and you just want to play with it, you could do it on a, you know, Bristol paper, cardboard. Takes a couple of goes to make sure that string is fully saturated. And I'm kind of focusing on movement here. So these are my, my composition lines. I'm just going to hold it taut so you can see what a straight line would look like. Okay, so I think you have the idea. Then what you can do to see, I like to separate them and go, does that does that work all by itself? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Does that work all by itself? Yeah, that looks, and they all three look like they could work by themselves. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside to dry. I already have another one below it, kind of cooking show style, just so I can go on to my next um, stage. Okay, so I can focus. Here's another one that I made. Um, I can focus on just one or the, as a whole. The other thing, let's see. You can shuffle these around and see if they work, if there's different combinations that might work better. 
forming different connections. So I like this sweet. Maybe I don't like this over here. I can bring it down. That, that works pretty well, actually. This flow over here. So this is dry, so I can fiddle with this. And I think I'm trying to find the original way I painted it. I think it was this way. Now I can't remember. No, it was that way. It was like a wave crashing and then over here. But I quite liked, uh, I had moved it around. Now let me see if I can find that one. Yeah, it was this. It was this one. Okay. So that one. Okay. So next, I'm going to put, I'm going to keep this really simple. Um, I'm going to put a light same color blue wash on the background, certain areas. And then I'm going to show you laying out some more collage material, how I might compose. And then I'm going to save this string. I could use that again because now it has this beautiful indigo color um, that it's absorbed. So I'm going to hang on to that. I might come back in and, and use it. So now I'm going to add more water to this high flow. I want it to be much more transparent. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my um, wash brush. I'm gonna put some water down here. Again, I'm going with this movement. It almost feels like wind or a wave. I'm going to go just continue with that compositional movement. Okay, so I've got water there. I'm going to do a little bit of um, wet on wet. I really like this angled brush because it's got multiple surfaces I can use. Again, I'm going to cut through with the top edge and let uh, let some of that paint bleed. Here's the flat edge of it. Then, of course, if I want to just fill in some areas solid, I can do that. Right now, I'm not thinking about it too much. I'm just, I'm just going. And there's other effects I could use here. If I wanted to put salt on there for a speckled effect, I could. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Only problem I'm going to have now is that this is quite wet. Um, ideally, it would be dry, and then I'd start doing my collage material. I think I'll blot it a little bit. And then I'll go to my next um, layering. Okay, so I'm going to blot this down here. Just pick up some of that paint so that I can lay my collage pieces down and they don't get trashed. Okay, so I'm, again, I'm keeping it simple. Um, I'm going to probably work within this color range. And I was at the thrift store and I don't know what this is. It looked really, really old. It's some sort of lace and it's pinned on this gauzy material. And I really like the um, transparent quality of the gauze. So I was talking about wrapping things, things that are hidden, things that um, aren't hidden. So I'm going to try and use this intentionally and have some things underneath and some things on top. I like, um, I thought maybe some neutral text book pages. I like this stamping I did on the book pages and the circles. So I'm just going to play with this and plop some of these kind of random pieces here. I'm not making any commitments. I'm just seeing what I can get. Sometimes I like to line up my collage pieces with, with an edge, They're making a connection. What 
what I'm liking that's happening is I still have, I've retained the sense of movement with my initial string lines. That makes me happy. Okay. So I can, again, I can pull these apart and go, is that working as a separate composition? That looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more here. Not sure about this one. Maybe I need to, yeah, maybe I'll put that bigger one down here. Maybe this one, I kind of see this as a little bit of an ocean horizon line. So now I'm going to rip this piece smaller, kind of like an ocean swell. Maybe this is poking out of the water. At least that's the story I'm forming in my mind. Okay, I like that there. Wasn't so thrilled with that there. So I'm playing. I'm not predetermining. I'm just going, what is going to happen here? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe a really tiny piece. Maybe I need something really tiny. And some, some of the compositions will pop into place quicker than others. Like I'm happy with that, happy with that. Okay, now I put them all back together. Okay, it's like junk floating on the ocean. All right. Now, I'm going to come in with this gauzy stuff. I think the first question I have is, are these little things on top, is that going to be too much? However, I mean, this lace stuff, however, I like the pin right in there. I like that this is crinkly folded. Okay, I kind of like that. I think I'm going to cut that piece and just put it on there. I like the folds. It looks like the ocean waves. Do I like it better without this piece? I think maybe I do. Or maybe I want to put that piece somewhere else. Don't know yet. Thinking about it. Okay, another piece, I could go up here at the top, I could go in the middle. Sometimes I don't know, so I'll just cut it and find out. I've got a ton of this stuff. I'm not too worried about, again, I like the pin, but I'm not sure, yeah, see, I like that better. Like that a whole lot better, okay. That feels too much. Maybe I want to put the pin back here. And I'm talking this out loud because this would be the conversation going on in my head. <laughs> so I'm trying to give you my thought process. Okay, now, okay, I'm gonna move this over, this over. Do I do that? Do I do that? Not really sure. Maybe it's a whole bunch of these little pieces. Let's try that instead of one big piece. So this is where it's good to have, you know, we always say, oh, what do we do with all this collage material? Well, in this case, it's good. You, hopefully you'll feel a little bit better about taking risks and cutting it apart. Like I've got a ton, who cares, let it go. Okay, maybe that. All right, so I've got one, two, three. I think I'm going to take that out. Don't love it. All right, now back to the wrapping thing. So here's some blue string that the, the paint has dried. I could bring that back up to the top. I think I need more contrast. Usually with me, as you know, it's red. So I'm going to try the red. I've got this embroidery floss. I like that red with that. I've also got this, uh, I think it's a cotton cord for packaging like bakery items. That's kind of interesting because it's a line, but it's got a pattern. So 
Maybe I'll do some of both. So if I want to emphasize a certain um, compositional line, like this diagonal, I'd probably wrap the string that way. Um, I can't really do a curve here. I could go that way, or maybe just down here. Might be really nice with a beautiful knot. So it's a little bit of its composition, a little bit of packaging. I could go that way. I'm going to do this middle one with this. Again, I haven't glued anything down yet, which is great because I can still make changes. Once I've decided, then I would glue these pieces down, probably bring another color in here. I don't know what that is yet. Just thinking about it. So I'm going to do one with this cord, and then I'm going to do um, one with the straight red. Maybe I'll do one with the blue, too, so you can see the difference. Okay, again, wrapping that fabric around the edge or maybe letting it wrinkle. That's okay. Putting a knot in there if I want it to be bigger. Tie it again. So this little line, string line, becomes uh, part of the composition, composition, composition design element. Okay, so that's one. I'm going to do red on this one so you can see what that looks like. This is trickier because it's at an angle. This is where I probably would need my um, glue gun because I can't do any notches here. I'm just going to go over it several times. I'm not going to anchor anything down just so you can see the difference. Actually, three lines is kind of intriguing and loose is kind of intriguing too. So things happen by accident. I'm also seeing that this has a fold. I could take that and tuck it under. So there's that. There's another choice there. Okay, and then my final one, I'll come back with that uh, blue thread. Where did I put it? So that's rather strong, actually. I like that blue. And then I might come in, it feels very Asian. I might come in with a, a fleck of gold somewhere. So this is just what I'm thinking. I've got three different choices there. I could take a photo of each with my phone. That gives me more distance. And then I could make um, decisions based on that. All right. And that's it. That is my lesson to printing, painting, and integrating collage material and paint with string.